Welcome back to another MLB recap and a lot of this video is going to be talking about a couple trades and really just the fallout and what is next after them. So for the Brewers, they're trading their longtime ace and former Cy Young winner Corbin Burns to the Orioles. So in this, it can mean that they're headed towards a rebuild. Sure, it could be a retool and they can try to compete this next year, but also according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic, this can open up names like Willie Adamas at shortstop because they got Joey Ortiz as a shortstop prospect. Christian Yelich could be a name to watch, and also relief pitcher Devin Williams, who is one of the best one-for-one -one pitchers in all of baseball. When you're talking about you need three outs, you can't let him get on base, Devin Williams is that guy. So the Brewers could look to be active, especially with guys like Adamas and Devin Williams just a year or two away from hidden free agency, just like they did with Corbin Burns. So we'll see what ends up coming back for this, but right now with the Brewers, they have Joey Ortiz, they have Jackson Churio, a couple young young prospects and young guys that they're going to try to give a lot of run this year so it could still be a competitive team to watch and now going back a few days earlier this week the twins traded Jorge Polanco to the Mariners they had a glut of depth in the infield so they needed to clear up some of that space but also they're getting Jorge Polanco's salary off the books and they also got a significant amount of cash in return from the Mariners so now signs are pointing to them using some of that cash to sign a right-handed outfield field possibly power bat now a couple names that are coming up Adam Duvall's coming up JD Martinez is coming up and the biggest name out of all is Jorge Soler obviously one of the better right-handed power bats and power bats overall in all of baseball last year he had a huge year in Miami which is going to get himself pay the multi-year deal this offseason so the twins could be a team that's definitely looking for a right-handed bat like that because they have a lot of lefty hitters in the outfield and also if they're going to make another trade Max Kepler could be a name to watch as as well but they're expected to reinvest some of those savings from the Polanco trade in one way or another now teams have checked in on Alec Manoa after he had his down season last year but the Blue Jays reportedly have no plans to move him he reportedly has had a very good off season of workouts and is expected to be in the rotation on opening day and I hope that Alec Manoa gets back to that Cy Young contender form because he is so fun to watch his personality on the mound and fiery competitiveness when things are clicking now for the fallout of the Corbin Burns trade for a team in the AL East that's the New York Yankees a lot of fans are going to get very loud about needing to make a move to correspond to that like a Blake Snell there's reports that the Yankees were willing to give Blake Snell more money than they gave Carlos Rodon but Snell wants even more he's a Boris client so he's holding out for that so the question now is do the Yankees need to make a move because after the Corbin Burns trade the Yankees remain the favorites in the AL East they have Juan Soto on a one-year deal now haven't extended them yet so you'd presume they go all in but let me know what you guys think do they need to make another move to be considered a bigger favorite